the single dose EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector is for allergic emergency anaphylaxis and should be used right away. You can use a second EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector if symptoms continue or if symptoms come back. Checking the blue safety top. When receiving an EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector and before you need to use the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector, remove the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector from the protective case and check the auto injector to make sure the blue safety top is not raised. If the blue safety top is not raised, the auto injector is okay to use. Put the auto injector back in the protective case so that it is ready to be used in an allergic emergency. If the blue safety top is raised, the auto injector should not be used because the device could activate by accident. Do not try to push the blue safety top back down. Put the auto injector back in the protective case and replace it with a new EpiPen or EpiPen Junior. Preparing to inject EpiPen or EpiPen Junior. Check the auto injector before use. If the auto injector appears damaged, throw it away or dispose of and do not use. Check the medicine viewing window. Use the medicine if it is clear and colorless. Do not use the medicine if it is discolored or pinkish or brown color or if the medicine has particles floating in it. Throw it away or dispose of and use a new EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector. Injecting EpiPen or EpiPen Junior. Slide the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector out of the protective case. Remove the auto injector from the protective case. Pull off the blue safety top. Grip the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector with one hand and with the orange needle end pointing down. Use the other hand to remove the blue safety top. Pull it straight up and away. Note, do not flip the blue safety top off using a thumb or by pulling it sideways or by bending and twisting the blue safety top. Failure to pull out the blue safety top correctly or straight up and away can cause accidental activation. To avoid an accidental injection, never put your thumb, fingers, or hand over the orange needle end. If an accidental injection happens, get emergency medical help right away. Inject the medicine. Place the orange needle end against the outer thigh through clothing if needed. Push down firmly and hold in place for three seconds. EpiPen and EpiPen Junior auto injectors make a distinct pop sound when pushed against the thigh. This is normal and means that the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector is working. After the pop, continue to press the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector down firmly on the outer thigh for three seconds to make sure that the medicine is given. Caregiver Administration If you are giving EpiPen or EpiPen Junior to a young child, first hold the child firmly in place or restrain and then use both hands to remove the blue safety top as shown. Use one hand to hold the auto injector with the orange needle end pointing down and your other hand to remove the blue safety top to activate the auto injector. Then inject in the middle of the outer thigh. Remember to hold the leg firmly in place before and during the three second injection to avoid needle stick injuries, including cuts to the thigh. Check if used. Lift the auto injector straight out from the thigh. The orange needle end will extend to cover the needle. 
If the needle is visible, do not reuse it. Use a new auto injector. Throw away the blue safety top. The blue safety top is a small part that may become a choking hazard for children and it should be thrown away immediately after using the auto injector. Get emergency medical help. After injecting EpiPen or EpiPen Junior, get emergency medical help right away. You can use a second EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector if symptoms continue or come back. Take your used EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector to your healthcare provider. EpiPen or EpiPen Junior are single dose auto injectors and cannot be reused. If the needle is visible, do not try to reuse it. For more information on how to throw away or dispose of your auto injector, see the section Disposing of an Expired Unused or Used EpiPen or EpiPen Junior Auto Injector in the Patient Information Leaflet. The real EpiPen and EpiPen Junior Auto Injectors are not toys. Use by young children should be supervised by an adult. Keep the trainer and the real EpiPen and EpiPen Junior auto injectors away from young children. Always carry your two auto injectors because one dose may not be enough. If you need more than two doses of epinephrine for a single anaphylaxis episode, more doses must be administered by a healthcare professional. Before you use your EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector, make sure your healthcare provider shows you the right way to use it. Practice with the gray trainer before an allergic emergency happens to make sure you can safely use the real EpiPen in an emergency. The gray trainer contains no medicine and no needle. Note, this how to use video is intended to provide an overview and basic information about the EpiPen auto injector and does not replace the instructions for use. Please continue to watch for important safety information about EpiPen auto injector. Indications or the following information applies to both EpiPen and its authorized generic. EpiPen and EpiPen Junior auto injectors are used to treat life-threatening allergic emergencies in people who are at risk for or have a history of serious allergic emergencies. EpiPen and EpiPen Junior are for immediate administration by you or your caregiver. They do not take the place of emergency medical care. You should get emergency help right away after using your EpiPen or EpiPen Junior. Important safety information or the following information applies to both EpiPen and its authorized generic. EpiPen or Epinephrine Injection USP 0.3 mg and EpiPen Junior or Epinephrine Injection USP 0.15 mg auto injectors are used to treat allergic emergencies or anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis can be life-threatening and happen within minutes. If untreated, anaphylaxis can cause death. This allergic emergency can be caused by stinging and biting insects, allergy injections, foods, medicines, exercise, or unknown causes. Always carry two EpiPen or two EpiPen Junior auto injectors with you because sometimes a single dose of epinephrine may not be enough to treat a serious allergic reaction before seeking medical care. When you have an allergic emergency or anaphylaxis, use EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injectors right away. Get emergency medical help right away, even if you have used the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector. You can use a second EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector if symptoms continue or if the first auto injector is activated. If you need more than two doses for an allergic emergency, they must be given by a healthcare provider. Before you use EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injectors, tell your healthcare provider about all your medical conditions if you have heart problems with high blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid problems, asthma, a history of depression, Parkinson's disease, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant, are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines. 
vitamins, and herbal supplements. Tell your healthcare provider about all of your known allergies. If you have certain medical conditions or take certain medicines, your condition may get worse or you may have longer lasting side effects when you use your EpiPen or EpiPen Junior Auto Injector. Especially tell your healthcare provider if you take certain asthma medicines. EpiPen and EpiPen Junior and other medicines may affect the way other medicines work. Other medicines may affect how EpiPen and EpiPen Junior Auto Injector works. EpiPen or EpiPen Junior Auto Injector should be injected into the middle of your outer thigh or upper leg through clothing if necessary. Do not inject into your veins, buttocks, fingers, toes, hands, or feet. It is very important that you hold the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior Auto Injector down firmly on the middle of the outer thigh or upper leg for at least three full seconds. If you do not hold it in place long enough, the EpiPen or EpiPen Junior Auto Injector might not have time to deliver the correct dose of medicine. If you accidentally inject EpiPen or EpiPen Junior Auto Injectors into any place other than the middle of your outer thigh, go to the nearest emergency room right away. If you inject a young child, hold their leg firmly in place before and during the three-second injection to prevent injuries. Rarely, patients who have used EpiPen or EpiPen Junior Auto Injectors may get infections at the injection site within a few days. Some of these infections can be serious. Call your healthcare professional right away if you have any of the following at an injection site. Redness that does not go away, swelling, tenderness, or the area feels warm to the touch. Common side effects include fast, irregular, or pounding heartbeat, sweating, nausea or vomiting, breathing problems, paleness, dizziness, weakness, shakiness, headache, feelings of overexcitement, nervousness, or anxiety. These side effects may go away with rest. Tell your healthcare professional if you have any side effects that bothers you or that does not go away. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088. Please see the full prescribing information and patient information for EpiPen. Please see the full prescribing information and patient information for the authorized generic for EpiPen.